Morning folks, Sunday, I said I would be here and I am. The weather's not very good, it's raining, so I don't think I'll get much uh, weeding done, but there is plenty for us to do the day. So without further ado, before I put the kettle on, I'll see you in a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment. Get the kettle on. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. Well, just while the kettle is boiling, I'll let you know what's been happening. Steps back in amazement. We've had a skip delivered. We've eventually got a skip. I contacted them the, um, last week, the council. I says I needed a skip, like, because, uh, you know, I wanted to get rid of the piles of rubbish, which I'm, I don't burn. I don't burn plastic and stuff like that, you know. Anyway, I got an email back off the council. Uh, sorry, we do not have any funding for a skip. Which is a bloody joke, really, because, you know, we it's £150 each. I mean, that's mine. Spen uh, Spencer and Martin at the top there, they pay 180 quid. Now, so how have they not got the funding? There's 42 allotments on this site. So times that, you know, they're getting thousands of pounds and they can't even afford a skip. So anyway, I did a little sneaky thing. <laughs> um, I sent them an email back. I says, well, look, I've had it. I've, uh, I've entered a competition. Britain's best allotment. Uh, it's run by the Daily Mail. Uh, Sean, he's got something to do with it. So I says, I've entered the competition. And uh, there might be some judges from the Daily Mail coming to see me garden in, in July. And I would hate it if the first thing they saw was a pile of rubbish. Because I would just let them know that the council is to blame because we pay so much and we don't get nothing in return. blah de blah de blah de blah Next day, oh, a skip will be there on Friday. <laughs> so, you know, it just shows you the bloody council, man. A bunch of bloody, uh, what do you call it, crooks. That all, our allotment rents, that pays for the council's holidays and the Christmas bonuses, that's all. But anyway, that pile has now disappeared at the top. I have no rubbish lying around. There's plenty of weeds to do though. So uh, I'm going to get on with that after my cuppa. Um, so that's about it. I wish it would stop raining, it has for now, but I think it's going to start again. That's not going to stop us today though, so I want to get it all done. Anything I've missed going in the skip is going to go in the skip today. That's it. Oh, the, the council as well, it says, um, they left a, as a note saying, you know, do not overfill the skip. If there's anything in the skip that shouldn't be there, um, you're not going to get another skip ever again, sort of thing, you know? And um, at the end of the day, nothing from the gardens has been put in the skip that shouldn't be in the skip. They were on about asbestos and stuff like that, you know? Just making it up excuses. Anyway, um, as you can, where they put the skip is in a public area. Anybody can dump anything in there. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? Police it. Get Sit there for three days until Monday, till they come back. And, um... Oh, I've lost my train of thought there. Anyway, I cannot stop what people put in the skip. And at the end of the day, it's all the houses. You know, as soon as there's a skip there, it must have a beacon on. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, come and put your rubbish in here, quickly. So all these houses in the past, in fact, one time, there was a council bloke, a council 
wagon pulled up with a three piece settee in it. They pulled up next to the skip which was empty, it had just been delivered. They pulled up, the bloody three piece suite went into that skip. Now well, that's a joke, there was another time a builder, he come, oh look an empty skip, I've just gotten rid of this chimney, a uh, chimney wall. And it all went in there. Now that's nothing to do with the allotments. So the council are just a joke, like I say. Uh, this kettle's boiled now. I don't bother with tea these days. It's much easier to just get these sachets of coffee with all the milk and sugar in already, you know. Much easier. No messing about. Give the uh, spoon a bit of a wash. And a dry. This is a clean top by the way, it's just one of my old tracks with tops, I'm going to make a new skate row, but uh, I've just put it on the day because it's a bit nippy, might even put the fire on later on. I, these coffee things are good but I like to have two sugars in me, not just half, half a sugar, that's no good. So I'm just topping it up. Lovely. So after I've had this folks, I'll uh, crack on, I've got a little idea which I'm going to sort out today for my little new space that I have, now that I haven't got any piles of rubbish. My piles have disappeared, <laughs> oh them bees by the way, I'm not bothered about them, they are just solitary, you know there's only one or two. Because I noticed when I was at work the other day, I was cleaning someone's windows and as I went over to climb over the back, I looked up. Luckily I looked up because there was a bee's nest. It wasn't there two weeks ago. I looked up in the air brick. There was a bloody swarm of bees, man. It's like, wow. So these are definitely, you know, solitary bees. So thanks very much for everybody's comments on that and, uh, and all that kind of thing. And thank you to all my new subscribers since the last time I had a look. Um, fantastic. Thanks. Great. Cheers. Keep on watching, folks. There's always going to be something to do or something to see. So without boring you too much. Round one. Well, I tell you what, it's not very warm today. Where's the uh, summer gone? I think it's that's it. We've had it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Look at that, my pile of rubbish is gone. Gone. I found that in the skip. <laughs> I can't help myself. There's no wrong with it. It's a bloody, uh, I made a kind of good trailer out of that for me bike. Spot on. But this area here, I've got to tidy round. Um, and I have some plans. Like I say, I'll let you know what the plan is, oops, pardon me, now I'll let you know what the plan is when I do it. I just want to have a little tidy round here first, before the air, before the rain starts again. So, I must crack on. Hello, well things are looking a bit different here now, um, I don't know if you can guess what it is yet. But I thought I'd make myself a little bird hide so I can sit here with my camera and watch the birds, make a kind of video, hopefully. Um, I just knocked it together, put a bit of roofing on there. Um, I need to do a little bit more adjustments. I'll show you the final thing when it's done. So I'll crack on. Right, folks, quick run round because I've got to go and catch a bus. Yeah, this is what I've been busy doing the day. Got myself a little bird hide. Solid floor there. I've used that metal there. That there is the base. I'll just put a little bit round. You know, it's, it's not meant to be anything but somewhere for us to hide. So I can film the birds. I'll put that net up there for now. I'll put a little strip of wood across the top. So I've just got a little strip so I can stick the camera out should work 
plus it's keeping this uh, keeping the fence nice and sturdy and boxed everything in nice so that's my little job done for the day canny like I say hopefully I'll get some like, canny footage of some birds because there's plenty around here nesting in this tree here um, anyway what's been happening grow wise uh, my roses are starting to come out and there's pit well it's supposed to be a purple one but it's pink there's out now plenty of bees there on the comfrey this is gonna have to get chopped back actually it's starting to overtake the path anyway uh, I'm starting to get strawberries on they're not turning red yet so not too worried about netting them over just yet it's been raining quite uh, quite a bit the, over the weekend I managed to get a little bit weeding done though in between my onions which are coming up canny they're gonna start thickening out now and my garlic is as well well my garlic's doing okay I did a little uh, weed round there as well the shallots canny parsnips all coming up as per usual now I'll put them beetroot that I had in the paper pots there I'll put them outside in between the rows of uh, sweet corn see what happens there all my potatoes I've earthed them up again so the, once they get a little bit bigger I'll earth them up for the final time but they're nearly all through now there's only one, two, three rows which are just coming up so that's canny what's that? Mistail! get that out um, these peas I'm gonna have to take the net off now because they're they're about a foot tall now these runner beans some people have suggested putting some Epsom salts down well it's a, it's just a new uh, nitrogen deficiency so I've put a little bit grow more down hopefully that'll work it doesn't help that loose potatoes are growing in amongst it like but you can never get them all out anyway I'm not worried about that uh, they'll pick up I can see they're starting to turn green again so all's not lost there these peas are doing fine my broad beans are absolutely covered in flowers so I should be getting a canny few broad beans this year which is good uh, my leeks are standing up still straight my cabbages and that I'll show you from here they're doing okay kale, the kale is coming up now I'm not too sure about spinach I've never grown it before it looks like it's going to seed to me but when you start uh, picking that you just pick the leaves off when you need them or what can you see there it's starting to go to seed no you can't see another net I do want to lift it up because like I say I've got a bust to catch Oop, bust a bust um, I'm getting loads of artichokes on here now three four five six loads of them it's about six foot tall now that uh, my pumpkin is growing the wrong way it should be going that way go on turn round but it seems to be perking up I'll give that another feed of comfrey or something later on during the week when I've got a bit more time so like I say the, the ground's too wet to be doing anything in, in the, and I wanted to try and tidy up that part up there which I have done so this needs chopping back now since it's all gone to flower because of the weather all of this is going to go in my compost bin it's not going in there but it's no good for comfrey juice so it's just going to go in the compost bin it'll do all right in there um, there's nothing has been happening in here no nothing to show you in there apart from them croissants I put this biggest one outside because Ray says it needed to go outside here's my carrot 
Here, uh, I have put this croissant outside here. Because it needs to be out. It needs to be in a bigger pot as well, so I'll have to do that. Uh, have I missed anything out there? No. Uh, Paula, there you go, I've had my banana. Thank you very much. Uh, I've had a little tidy round here. No weeds. You can actually walk into the place now. It's a little bit tidier. This roan tree thing is coming up very canny. And on my next video, which I do, I should have another tree to show you and talk about, which will be interesting. Uh, the garden, yeah. I have only got one of them boards left, which is good, because I didn't want them all over the place. Let's see if I can get past here without breaking my neck. Hi, it's typical, the sun comes out just as I'm about to leave. But, not worried, ground needs watering. I watered these on Friday before I left, and I've noticed they've started getting suckers on, so pull the suckers off. Pull the suckers off! Right, there's one. Get them off. You don't want suckers on. Eh, uh, uh, that's a job for. I'll come after work tomorrow and do a little bit tidy. These need feeding now as well. With the first truss, I'll give them once a week, I'll feed them comfrey, which will be nine parts water to one part comfrey juice, neat comfrey juice. So they're doing okay, them, can he? I'll put one of them onions in here as well, see what happens. Is there any grapes still coming on, thick and fast? All over the place. You see them there? Oh, there's loads of spiders webs all over the place now. So, I'll just leave that open. Um, what else? I've had a little weed round me peppers. And these are doing okay as well. Gets really warm in here at, uh, during the day. And it stays warm for most of the night. Hello there, Willy Worm. Hello, folks. Um, so that's about it. There's that, 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 that's that, that's that, that's that. There's no else to show you. So I'm going to get myself ready and get myself on the bus up the west road to Throckers. <laughs> so it was just a quick one today. The weather hasn't been too good. I just wanted to show you what's been happening on the plot so far. So, thanks again for watching folks and thanks for subscribing. Thank you to all my new subscribers and I hope I get many more in the future. Cheers now, see you again, happy growing folks, bye. Well it's Monday, I thought I'd come back after work because there was a few jobs I had to do. I'll quickly show you around things that I didn't get a chance to show you yesterday because I was uh, hurrying for the bus, which by the way I just managed to get. I was two minutes away from having to walk eight miles. Anyway, that's that clematis, look. Started flowering already. It's nearly up to the top of the fence here. Which is cool. It'll be a nice little spread along there. Eventually. My cherries, look at these. Now, the, like I say, the birds get them before I do, but Here's some, look at the, almost, almost, and I tell you what, there's some of them are kind of big. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with that, look at that, that's a, like a proper one from the shop, that. But the birds get them before me, unless I spot one before they do, but I doubt it. Ah, there's loads missing off that tree now. Anyway, just a quick run around show you what's been happening what I didn't show you yesterday again eh uh, the apples didn't show you them there they are coming on coming on strong coming on strong coming on strong 
so that's canny. Uh, what else did I not show you yesterday? Um, I've earthed my taties up yet again. I'm not so bothered about earthing these ones up too much because these are the early potatoes, but my main crops will be again without earthing up yet. Like, But you can start start to see the, the general idea. Yeah. So yeah, you, you started off with the, the spades depth trench where the taties are, and eventually there'll be a spades depth trench in between the potatoes. See that? Can you get the gist? He has another little skip find. Perfect for me peas. Looks like an old uh, fire guard or, or something like that. Dog cage, something, but perfect for me peas to play, uh, climb up, which are massive. Absolutely massive. So there you go. Uh, I showed you all this. I showed you all this. In fact, there's nothing else I can show you anymore. But so I'll just say, whoa, new glasses. <laughs> I got these a day, a couple of hours ago. I tell you what, I kind of get used to them. It's been that long. I've worn wired glasses for about 20 years and they, uh, whoa, feels totally different. Eh? New glasses, new gags, four eyes, and all that. <laughs> anyway, um, oh. As you know, I was away uh, from me on the weekend, and when I got back, I had a, a parcel. I say I'd like to say thanks to the person who um, who sent it. I never had heard about these, but it, what it, what it was was a maroga tree. Now, if you've never heard of them, interesting. He's given us it's a little sapling at the minute, like it's in the house, keeping there. Uh, it's nice and warm on the patio there, but I will bring it over to the garden and plant it eventually. Um, he's given us some seeds as well. Like I say, I'd never heard of them before, Maroga trees. And apparently they're the best thing since sliced bread, you know. They've got every single vitamin and mineral that you need in your body. And apparently it's the only plant, like leaf type thing, that contains all seven essential amino acids. So that's interesting. I'd like to get some of them started. So thanks again. I'll put your name in the boat here. All right. There you go. Cheers. I'll let you know the progress of that when it happens. So, folks, that's it. I'm gone for my tea. I'll see you in a bit. Cheers now. Toro.